Welcome back. Today, we're introducing water, and we're going to identify water and how it's used around us. Our goal for today is to identify our water use around us. Today, we'll be working through our 2.1 assignment and making some lists. To clarify, when we're talking about water, we're talking about both the liquid, the gas, and the solid. So we're not just talking about liquid water, but also about ice and steam. We talk about water using several different words. For example, words with the word aqua are usually talking about water because the Latin word for water is aqua. We'll look at our 2.2 or 2.1 assignment and try and think of all the words we know with aqua in them. Some examples we thought of in class were aquarium, where we keep fish, which live in the water, Aquarius, which is a zodiac sign, which has water in its symbol, and some people think the characteristics have to do with water, aquatic, you might have heard of aquatic or water animals, aquamarine, the name of a movie about mermaids, it's also the color of the sea or a gemstone with a light blue water-like color. Aquafina is a water you can buy. Aqua you'll see listed in ingredients, it just means water. Aquanaut is someone like an astronaut, but who dives in the water. And Aquaman is a superman or a superhero who lives in the water. The next word we looked at was hydro which comes from the Greek, or hydra. Some words we thought of were hydration, if putting water into something, hydro flask, a container for water, hydra, a mythical water beast, also an animal that lives in the ocean, also a villain in the Marvel series, which has an octopus-like look, hydrosphere, is the part of the uh, earth that has water in it, and quite a few other things. You may have also heard of a fire hydrant where we keep water. The last thing we're gonna do today is make a list of places where we find water or where we use water. Some of the things that I thought of was a water bottle, a water mattress where water is used to make a comfortable mattress, a water tower, and water to take a shower. How many you can think of? Some examples we talked about in class were a lake. Without a lake, we wouldn't have any fish. Clouds are used to hold and transport water. In the kitchen, you might find water to wash your vegetables. You might use water to wash your hands. We use water in toilets and plumbing to wash away waste and help us not to get sick. We use water in water parks to have fun, in washing machines to wash clothes, in our tears to keep our eyes from drying out, in our mouth to make things taste better. We use water to cook things. We mix things into water. We use water to put out fires. See how many things you can find to use water Again, our goal for today was to identify water and recognize its uses in our lives. Have a great day.